Hello Anna, I'm Neve and I'm introducing you to the basis of die cutting using the Minnie Mouse die cutting gift set. It's limited edition from the range so you definitely want to get your hands on so let's open it. So first you have this and you want to dispose of this and it's not recyclable either. So first we have the die cutting machine and then we have the handle with a very useful screwdriver. Then we have the instruction leaflet which you definitely want to keep. Then we have the die, the mini mouse die. And then we have an embossing folder, some coloured card and some die cutting plates. So first over here we have all the plates and we have the bottom base, then we have a clear top base and we have a rubbery um, embossing mat. Then on the box it says there's three cards of A5 but really there's nine cards of A6 which is perfect for the embossing folder for sitting in it. And then it says you need a screwdriver but really handily they gave you one anyway. So now I'm going to show you how to put the handle on. So as you can see the screwdriver um, is on the flat headed side so you just want to flick it over so pull it out and then put it on the Phillips head and now we can put it on. So you're going to take this rubbery bit off and you can just put that in the bin and then also in the handle there's a white bit and you just want to take that out as well. That can also go in the bin. Now you can put the handle on. Now you're going to get your washer if you can pick it up and then put it in here and then also get your screw in there and now screw it in. So now we have our handle done. Um, open your feeders up and as you see we have a dial here and basically the bigger the number means the bigger the gap and between the two rollers and the smaller the number means the smaller the gap between the two other rollers. So this knob here will um, change the dial and will make it smaller or bigger. And if you need any help in the instruction leaflet they have all about it. So now I'm going to show you how to use the embossing folder and to emboss. And if I'm not clear on this they also have it in the instruction leaflet. So first we're going to get your bottom base which is this and your embossing folder and get any card of your choice. For me it's going to be a red card and put it in. And now we're going to get the embossing mat and then the top and then get to this and put it on here and as you can see it won't go through and you don't want to force it force it or else this could break and your die cutting machine could break as well so you just move this until it's the right size so now we're just going to push the handle through and just keep going So now, if you open this up, as you can see, top tip! So as you can see there's a difference and it's because you haven't put enough pressure on this between the rollers and it will come out better like this. So now I'm going to show you how to do make dies and I've already made one before and it looks like this. So first you're going to get your piece of card which whatever colour you want and just put that there on top of the bottom and then you'll get your die, I've chosen this one, but the die has a flat side and a one with a blade on and you always want to put the one with the blade on side to the card. And because if you do it like the flat side, it won't print out. So if you put it like this, you can either put it like that, or you can put it like that. So now you put that on top. And the die will leave marks on your plates, but that doesn't matter. And you do need to change your plates from time to time. So now if we just put this through, it's okay if you hear some clicks because 
that's just how it be sound. Top tip! So if your dye came out like this and it didn't really work, um, it's most probably because your setting is not right. And I found out that the dye facing upwards with the blade upwards will work better and cut it out more. And when I did this, I got this. This is what you want it to look like. So now we're gonna do it one more time. So put that on there. And the card on top and then the plate on top. And we're just gonna put it through. So now I'm going to show you how to do to emboss your dye. So you just put your dye where you want your pattern to be, like a flowery pattern, and then just close it. Then you get to your bottom plate, put this there, then that, and then And now it has a pattern. 